we start with team news, how's, how's it looking on the injury front? Um, apart from James Mor Morrison, everybody's fit. Um, internationally, they've all come back. The only one we haven't seen is Cess. Cess and Young's not come back, so um, we're not sure how he is. Um, so, but the rest of them are, are back in and um, ready to go, hopefully. Could he, is he still available? For, for Sunderland, Sass, or? Well, we don't know. We haven't seen him, so we don't know what uh, what state he's in. Um, you know, he's been a, he's been away for two weeks, hasn't trained this week, so we'll we'll take a view on it. You did get Solomon London back. Yeah, Solomon say? played um, and got booked, and um, luckily for us, missed the next game, so we we were able to have him. Solomon was back in Tuesday, so you know he's done fantastic to get across from the other side of the world and. He's come in and, and showed a great attitude. He's desperate to come back in and get ready for Saturday's game. And Callum McManaman back? Exactly. Yeah, Callum's, Callum's back. He needs another couple of weeks, I think, before you know he's, he's sharp enough to play. But it's uh, you know it's a, it's nice to have him back. Now, obviously, before the international break, you had that disappointing defeat against Norwich. It's, it's always hard, isn't it, going into an international break? You've got more time to dwell on that. And well, it's, it's disappointing in, in respect. We've looked at all the stats and looked at the game, and um, you know we, we just weren't good enough in possession in the final third. And you know we, we've been really good lately, and that was a disappointment for us. But in respect of you know the effort and the commitment the lads put in, again we were we were very very good. And um, you know you can't fault their effort. It was just that we had one of those days, and you just hope and pray that uh, there's not too many of them left before the end of the season. I mean, looking at the table, everybody will say you know West Brom virtually safe. Do you see it that way? Can you? Well, I, would, I, I still think if you know you, you get to that magic forty points, if we can get to that magic forty points as quickly as you can, we, we're okay, and then push on from there. You know, we have different targets that we've set ourselves um, that we'd like to achieve. Um, and and that's important. I think the important thing is is that lads recognise that you know with the games left, every game, most of the games we play, are, are, you know, important games for if not for us, for for other teams as well. So we have a responsibility to to everybody to make sure we turn up and have a right go. Because I know Jerome Defoe said he's hoping to find you in holiday mode, taking your foot off the gas. Well, I, I like I say, I I, I think there there is that. Um, I've been in the in the league long enough and and understand that once you get to a certain number of points, you know the pressure, you know, relaxes and and, and calms a little bit. But you know we need to to have that edge about us, and we need and you know you hope and pray that the players understand the the, the importance to. To everything that we do, and and you know whatever we do during the week is for one one thing, one thing only, and that is geared to to win a game of football at the end of the week. And you know it's not just a Saturday that you you turn up and play. It's it's all through the week. And if we're going to do what we've been doing and doing it really well, you know that that is the end product. The end product is that result on a Saturday. Can it almost help in a sense not to have that pressure because you know we've seen. Recently well, I, I, you know, you ask all the supporters and, and everybody else around the football club, and everybody will be saying, they, you know, you wouldn't give up thirty nine points. You know, with the with the games we've got left, we've got thirty nine points, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, but uh, like I say, it's 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 maintaining that edge. You need that edge, and, and we've got to do that. Um, and there's the potential of finishing in the top half of the table. Well, every, every, you know, obviously the, the chairman will be, you know, every, every place is money. And that's important to the chairman and to the football club and to everybody. And, you know, take the money out of it, you know, the pride that the players should have to try and finish as high as they possibly can, which, um, you know, for us is, is really important. And you've not done that before. Is that something personally for you? That yeah, it's, it's something that, you know, we've, I think 11th, as, or tenth of maybe eleventh has been the best that are, that we've achieved um, in the years that I've been doing it. Um, but um, yeah, it'd be nice to do it if we can. You're playing a side who are, are fighting for their lives. They've said that this this game is a, a must-win game. Do you think it is for Sunderland? I'm, I'm, I'm you know, that you can. Win, Sunderland could win the last four games and get the 12 points that they need most probably or 13 points you know they got the you know five games left they could win the last five get 15 points it's been done before and Sunderland are most probably the best example of how it's been done before because they seem to do it year after year after year you know Leicester went on a fantastic run last year 
and and got through it. So you know, the, all the teams at the bottom. I think obviously Villa have have, uh, have dropped, but every team still in there is still in there. Sorry, and still fighting, and that includes Sunderland, Newcastle, <laughs> and Norwich. They'll be fighting for their lives, and you know everybody has to be aware of that. When you look at some of those teams down there, some big teams scrapping it out. Does that make the achievement of West Brom? Well, I, I, I think the great, the great thing is, is to, to for us to look at those clubs and have a look at the potential and, 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 and that those clubs have got, and, and never take anything for granted. You know, the, the league is relentless. It's the toughest league in the world, and it's the toughest league in the world because every Saturday teams turn up, and um, you know we know or I know how tough it is, um, and you know. Like you say, just look at the table and look at the enormous size. You know, Villa, Sunderland, Newcastle, and massive, massive football clubs. And you know what a wonderful club Norwich is as well. You know they get sold out every week. Um, yeah, it's a tough, tough league this one. And with Sam Allardyce there, is he the man to to rescue them? Yeah, I, I, you know I, I've got great respect. I think Sam's had a fantastic career. Most probably doesn't get the credit he deserves. Um, but you have a look at his career. What he's achieved, and um, like I say, even in his last job at West Ham, he did a remarkable job there. And I don't think um, people give him the credit. I think there's a, you know, sometimes you leave football clubs and the other manager comes in and, and pushes on a little bit more than what uh, what you've done. But it's how you leave a football club sometimes should be looked at. And Sam left that club in really, really good order. Um, and you know, Nigel Pearson did at Leicester as well. And, and they get forgotten at times and it's it's wrong to forget the jobs that people have done when other managers come in, step in and, and do maybe a little bit better. West Brom have got a fantastic record there against Sunderland, haven't they? I hope that continues Saturday. So just a couple from me. Um, obviously your aim is to get to the 40 points at the moment, it seems to be, but actually when you look at the table, you're closer to Champions League place than you actually are for bottom three. Crazy old league, isn't it? Yeah, it's been that season, it, you know, when you look at it, um, and there's still lots of twists and turns, I think, to come. And again, it's fantastic for everybody in football, everybody in, you know, English football, to see the Premier League, you know, whether it's the top or the bottom, people still fighting for, you know, for, for places in, in whether it's winning it, whether it's being relegated, whether it's getting into the Champions League or Europe or whatever, everything is open. So, you know, it's been a wonderful season in that respect. And as we've just touched on, you know, nobody, nobody can take this league for granted. Um, because when you look at Villa, Sunderland and Newcastle, three unbelievably big clubs, you know, and they're fighting for their lives. All season, you've mentioned that your aim is to stay in this division this season, but actually now, it's looking like a top ten finish. Really, is a, a real, real possibility. Yeah, we're quite happy to to get that you know, number of points and stay. And as I've just said to you, and if we can push on now and do that, brilliant. That, that's absolutely fantastic. But let's get to forty first, and then look at the next target. And then we'll look if we get there. We've we've got another target as well in place. So you know we've set ourselves three targets, and if we can do it, then it'll be a wonderful season. So obviously played uh, Norwich before the international break. Now you're playing Sunderland straight after that match. Is it in some ways more difficult to play the teams battling at the bottom at this point of the season than the teams battling sort of up? Well, up what, what, one thing you get, you can guarantee is that they they'll be and especially at their like forty eight thousand, you know, they'll they'll it'll be a fantastic atmosphere to, for the players to play in, and they should embrace that. You know, they they they're very very lucky people to be able to play at uh, at this level, and to play at grounds like. I was going to say Roker Park then, <laughs> the Stadium of Light, whatever they call it now, it changes so much. Um, yeah, they're very fortunate people, so they should go there and embrace it and really enjoy it. In terms of your running, are you sort of happy about the teams that you're playing or are you just taking it one game at a time at the moment? Well, we've got Man City, Tottenham, Arsenal away. You know, we've got, we've got a difficult running, but um, like I say, they're all great games. They're all great football clubs that we play against and the players should, uh, like I say, should... Um, should embrace it uh, and enjoy it.